Go stand by Mama, Rebecca. Go stand by Mama. The close of Yom Teruah, 2018. Careful, guys. <laughs> you blow yours, sir. Go for it. Do you see the moon? I don't. Trumpets, shofars are called for the Day of Trumpets. It's one of the feasts in the Bible. God oh. commanded seven feasts, and this one is one of the first of the fall feasts. So it started last night, and we're blowing it before the sun sets today because that's when the feast closes. That is so cool. Yeah. It's Wait, a lot so of fun. where? It's, oh, it's Old Testament. Yeah, it's Old Testament. It's also mentioned in the New Testament when it talks about the return of Messiah at the last trump. Oh, this yeah. is what it refers to, is that he's supposed to return on this day, on the day of trumpets. Because he said he'd return in the clouds and he'd return oh, at the really last cool. trump. So it's like we're going out to greet him, blowing the trumpets, and we watch for him to come in the clouds for his second coming. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you guys... Um, certain denomination? We're non-denomination. We just believe in the Messiah. We believe in the Bible. The closest we'd be is probably Messianic Jews. It's okay. very close to that. Okay. So we, we follow a lot of the, uh, the, the law of the Bible and we believe in the Messiah. Okay. It was on the Feast of Trumpets uh, that the uh, moon, the sliver of the moon, lined up with the constellation of the Virgin. Okay. And then there was a constellation of the Lion of Judah. Okay. Leo. Uh, yep. Leo? Leo. Yeah. Okay. What, we, what they would understand as Leo. Yeah. Um, and then um, Jupiter went and and came between his paws. Mm -hmm. And so the Magi, when they saw the signs in the heaven, that's what they saw, and it was on the Feast of Trumpets. So it was like the Jews didn't know it, but they were out blowing their chauffeurs, and they were heralding the uh, first coming of Yeshua. So what is it about today that's making you guys... So I'm going to take pictures while I'm talking. This is my first time seeing this. <laughs> The, the sliver of the moon, uh, the okay. seventh month in the Hebrew yeah. month, the okay. the first day of the seventh month. Oh, that's super cool. <sighs> Such we, a beautiful sunset. It really is. We are a lover of Jesus as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. Yeah. I kept asking other people. I figured someone might know. Yeah. But no one had a clue. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that answer, though. I thought, yeah. I was like, are they like... Yeah, it's Leviticus 23 that talks feast. about the feast. So when Jesus came the first time, as you know, he was the Passover lamb. Mm -hmm. So the, the biblical feasts are divided into two seasons. There are the spring feasts and then there are the fall feasts. And so when he came the first time, he was the Passover lamb. He rose as the first fruits of the resurrection and he was the unleavened bread the, yeah, the, yeah. without and sin. He was killed on Passover. Yeah. Really? 
And so the feasts, um, Passover, uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, and all those actually are like their um, foreshadows that tell us yeah. that he was going to die then and be the sacrificial lamb to yeah. die for our sins. So the feasts are actually a really cool thing as Christians to do because, first of all, he commands it in the Old Testament that we keep the feast. Yeah. But also, it's like all of them are pictures of what he's doing and what he's going to be doing next. Yeah. yeah. So every year when we come out and we blow the chauffeur and we look into the clouds, we wonder if that's the year he's going to be returning. And the it's wonderful the thing about this feast, if you are familiar with the scriptures that talk about uh, when Messiah said, no man knows the day or the hour of yeah, his return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This feast is the one feast that you cannot know before it happens because it's based on the sighting of the first sliver of the moon. And we all thought it was going to be Last September 10th. We all went out and nobody could see it. And then we had to go out the following night and look for it again and see if we could see it that night. And once we found it, that would declare the, the seventh month, the first day, and that would be the day of trumpets. Okay. And so the, it, historically, this day was called the day which no man knows, the day or the hour. Okay. And that's what Messiah was talking about when he said that. Do you have 